Ladies and gentlemen, Dragon Ball Legends has announced we are getting a new campaign on the 13th of March. Get ready for the Lumi Nemesis campaign, which I think is just a cooler way of saying powerful opponent. They just wanted to mix it up. I don't think they're going to change the tag to Lumi Nemesis, but I guess they could. Uh, in the trailer, though, you just see we have the Broly, the new free-to-play Broly, the event exclusive Broly. We just got in-game. He's currently in-game. You can go get him. They show off him in the trailer, and then it jumps from, it says, plus from the anime, Dragon Ball Super. It's important you mention or remember the word anime, but we have the Zenkai for the OG Golden Frieza. And that's really it from the video. Then after that, it doesn't really show anything cool. So just really letting you know what we already got. And the new campaign for Powerful Opponent or Lumi Nemesis is, is beginning on the 13th, which is in about a week. And if you remember, this is not the first time they've done a campaign like this. I believe the last time we had it was this one here in 2022. So we're kind of jumping away back here at the end of August till so really September till mid-October, about one and a half months there. And we got all these guys as new units. If you weren't playing or you just don't remember, we got Mecha Frieza and Goku Black on the same banner. They were the Legends All-Star banner units. Then we got that Metal Cooler as a free-to-play unit, event exclusive. Then we got LF, Final Form Cooler. Then Slug was a Zenkai. The Blue Slug got a Zenkai. And then we got another event exclusive, free-to-play, Android Super 17. Finished off with Ultra Broly. So, assuming that it goes something similar to this we've already had a different start than how this campaign started because like they kind of did like a countdown thing as you can see here where they like revealed things one at a time and we already started out with our free to play and a zenkai so already a little bit of a different start but assuming it follows a similar path what do you think we can see well that's where things get interesting we just got an ultra in gohan so if this campaign goes on for one and a half months just like you know the looming nemesis one i should say goes on for one and a half months that would put us at the beginning of May, which maybe we get an Ultra at the very end of that campaign, just like how we got Broly there. So that would mean we're maybe looking at a new LF and a new Ultra. Well, when we pull up all our powerful opponent characters here, we'll start with the LF, but when we pull up everybody, who could get an LF? Well, Hit does not have one. Why am I mentioning Hit? Because when you look at the events they brought back, they brought back the Saiyan from Universe 6 Kaba event and a Saiyan's Pride Super Saiyan Kaba event interesting events to bring back and when you think about people who are relate to Kaba, you'd probably think universe six which would bring you to hit or kefla but kefla does not count as a powerful opponent none of the keflas are listed under powerful opponent as powerful opponent is saved for like the main bad guy from you know like the saga that they were in which would be jiren from the tournament of power the only time kefla showed up so that's why i don't think it'd be kefla could they add kefla to powerful opponent sure they definitely could do that but because they haven't done it thus far, I don't think they're going to. And so I think LF hit is a possibility. I'm not saying it's going to be him, but I think that's definitely a possibility because he is a powerful opponent. And the only one that ties to Cabo, really. I don't think it's going to be another Jiren. I just don't. I guess it could be Jiren, but I don't think it'd be Jiren. Then I've seen a popular idea going around that will get an LF for Metal Cooler. Because when you look at the trailer or, you know, what we've gotten so far, we got a movie unit in Broly. And then we got a Lineage of Evil unit in Frieza. Yes, technically this is from the ROF movie as well, but even as it says in the trailer that it's from the anime and that's how they list it in game. This Frieza is not a movies or sagas from movies unit. He's listed as the anime arc. So they even show that in the trailer. So I think they're going to stay true to that and not change it. But Metal Cooler is a character who's from a movie and from Lineage of Evil. So that's a popular theory. I think Metal Cooler would be a cool guy to get an LF. I would not be against that, so I think he's definitely someone who's in the running as of right now. Either a Fusion Zamasu or just a normal Zamasu, although Fusion Zamasu is cooler, I would have to say. I'd say is in the running as an LF, but also someone who could be the Ultra. Now, one thing to note is if this upcoming anniversary is just like how third anniversary was, because if you haven't been following, first anniversary, we got LF Super Vegito. Fourth anniversary, Ultra Super Vegito. Second anniversary, LF Vegito Blue. Fifth anniversary, Ultra Vegito Blue. We had third anniversary. We got two LFs in that one. LF Corrupt Zamasu, Corrupt Emerge Zamasu, and then LF Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Everyone thinks it's incredibly likely that we see Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for sixth anniversary. But if they're copying it like the same way they did the first three for the second three, then that would mean maybe we're also getting an Ultra Corrupted Merge Zamasu, in which case I don't think we would get an LF or a Ultra Zamasu well, we wouldn't, we just wouldn't uh, during this campaign, but we'll have to see on that. Um, I would just like a normal Fusion Zamasu to get an LF or an Ultra. I think he's way cooler than the Corrupt version, but that's just me. 
but that's something I would love to see and I think could happen since we haven't gotten future any future buffs since the purple cell came out just after last anniversary so it's surprising since a lot of this game was known as future ball legends for a while with how much future gets buffed so kind of crazy it's been that long but then another good shout I would say is God of Destruction Beerus this is the only LF Beerus we have he wasn't even an LF at first they retroactively made him an LF and so the fact that we don't have like a meta Beerus in the game either with how kind of important Beerus is in the Dragon Ball universe at this point it's kind of crazy to me so if we got like a new LF Beerus I think that would be really cool and something great um although I know the Battle of Gods enjoyers would also love a Super Saiyan God Goku but that's not going to come during this campaign um in terms of the Ultra again I mentioned Zamasu as a strong possibility I think that a Super Saiyan Broly full power from Dragon Ball Super high possibility uh could be the ultra that's something a lot of people would like um oh which actually reminds me one more runner for the lf would just be the dragon ball z broly as like the lf a lot of people wanted that during this campaign we ended up getting him as uh, an ultra but i think it's possible he gets an lf during this campaign we'll have to see but i think those are like the most likely ones would it be cool if we got an android 21 like lf or ultra that would be cool. I don't think it's likely. But let me know who you want to see. I don't think we're getting a Janemba. He wasn't. We didn't get one that long ago. Could be an LF Kid Buu, but I don't think it'll be Kid Buu related. Um, Rose, I think it's more likely they go Zamasu than Rose. So Omega, we just kind of got, you know, Super 17 and some GT stuff. So not entirely sure they'll run some more GT stuff already. But let me know who you want to see as the LF and or Ultra during this campaign. Right now, I think Hit is a possibility for the LF or Metal Cooler as like my two front runners. I'd say they're the most likely. And then the Ultra, I would lean towards Zamasu. That would also save them dropping two Ultras during the anniversary, having Zamasu come out just before the anniversary, and then having G4 come out during the anniversary. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Just kind of wanted to put this out there, kind of bring up the facts, what we got before, um, what it's likely to look like, the fact that, you know, these Kaba things are looming there. Uh, and yeah, just kind of present the information. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, uh, all that wonderful stuff. Check out my TikTok and my YouTube if you're interested, or my Twitch, you're watching this on YouTube, if you're interested in live streams or like the shorts. And yeah, hope y'all are staying happy and healthy. Have the best of days. Catch y'all tomorrow. <laughs>